Hello, my name is Julie Williams. I'm a registered migration agent with Migration Down Under. And we get often get asked, how can I work in Australia? Well, there's a couple of different options for you if you wish to work in Australia. If you're from a country, uh, a certain country that participates in the working holiday visa and you are between 18 and 30, then that could be an option for you, a working holiday or a work and holiday. There is a slight difference between the two in the fact that um, certain countries um, have got more requirements depending on the negotiation between your country and Australia has come. Usually there needs to be reciprocal rights for Australians also going to your country. So if you're 80, between 18 to 30 and you haven't had an opportunity to come out on a working holiday visa or a work and holiday visa and you're from a country that participates in that program, then that can be an option for you. That gives, gives you a 12 month visa and the flexibility of being able to work whilst also having a holiday here in Australia. The um, ability to work for one employer goes up until six months and then you're expected to swap employers after six months of employment with them. There's also the um, temporary skilled work visa. That requires an employer to sponsor you and it also requires you to be uh, in an occupation that you have qualifications for as well as relevant work experience and a minimum of two years relevant work experience in an occupation that is on the occupation list um, either on the short skilled list or the medium long term skilled list that Australian government is recognising that we do have a shortage of your, you know, that particular occupation and there are employers that um, are in need for, for your skill set. And that is required, uh, the requirement is uh, for an employer to actually sponsor you. So you have to have a job offer first to be able to get onto that uh, 482 temporary skilled visa. There's also permanent residency options for uh, work visas for to have the ability to work here in Australia. And it might be either the independent skilled visa if you've got an occupation on the medium long term list. Otherwise, there is the um, 186 or the 187 temporary transition stream or direct entry, which once again, like the 482, requires an employer to sponsor you. And um, it requires you to meet a number, of, uh, a number of criteria depending on the pathway you're choosing. You may have to get your skills assessed. You certainly do have to have a relevant qualification and you do have to have a minimum of three years relevant work experience to consider permanent residency options. So um, they're the main ones, the work and, work and holiday, working holiday, the 482 temporary skilled, the 186, 187 um, RSMS or ENS, which is employer sponsored, or the independent pathway, the 189 or the 190. Other than that, there's not too many options for you just to come over to Australia and, uh, and obtain a work visa. Basically, you do need to um, do, be qualified in a particular occupation or skill set that the Australian government are seeking for, uh, to meet the skill shortage here in Australia. But look, there's a lot of different, um, there's probably a lot of more questions that uh, I could possibly answer. So please don't hesitate in giving us a call on 02 9419 5411 or emailing us info at migrationdownunder.com. There's not only myself, but we've got a team of registered agents that are, are most capable to be able to answer any inquiries that you have.